गाइज टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वी वेरी वेरी बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कोलेजन एंड आई विल नॉट गो इन टू द थ्योरी आई विल डायरेक्टली टेल यू एन इक्वेशन विच इज वेरी हेल्पफुल इन सॉल्विंग ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स एनी प्रॉब्लम ऑफ एनी लेवल विल रिक्वायर एन इक्वेशन विच इज रिलेटेड टू कंजर्वेशन ऑफ लीनियर मोमेंटम and that equation is a very basic equation which is the equation of linear momentum conservation which says that if mass m1 is moving with a velocity v1 and mass m2 is moving with a velocity v2 before collision so the sum of their momentums what we do exactly is on the left side we write the sum of momentum before collision on and on the right side we write the sum of uh momentum after collision so v1 was the velocity of mass m1 before collision v2 was the velocity of mass m2 before collision so m1 v1 plus m2 v2 will be equal to momentum total momentum of the whole system after collision that is supposing v1 dash was the velocity of mass m1 after uh, collision and sorry v1 apostrophe it is and similarly uh, v2 apostrophe was the velocity of mass m2 after collision so what we are going to say is what we are going to write in the right side is uh, m on the right side is m1 v1 apostrophe plus m2 v2 apostrophe now supposing if the velocity of mass m1 is v1 and after collision of mass m1 is v1 dash v1 apostrophe so initially velocity was v1 after that it becomes v1 apostrophe what will be the velocity of m2 after collision there is no velocity of mass m2 before collision mass m2 has zero velocity it is stationary so what will happen to the velocity of mass v1 of mass uh, m2 after collision that is what we have to find out so simply we will write the initial equation that is the total momentum before collision will be m1 v1 plus m2 into 0 because there is no velocity of m2 which will be equal to the velocities after uh, uh, momentum is equal to total momentum after collision which is m1 v1 dash because we know v1 dash is the velocity of mass m1 after collision and m2 v2 dash v2 dash is the velocity of mass m2 after collision so hence in terms of m1 m2 v1 and v1 apostrophe we can find v2 apostrophe simple illustration now we have to uh, talk about types of collision so there is a direct collision collision velocity of two bodies coincide with the line of impact and there is an oblique collision in which velocity of two bodies do not coincide with the line of impact so now we will talk about coefficient of restitution is a simple formula of coefficient of restitution which is e e e denotes the coefficient of restitution and e will be equal to minus v2 minus v1 upon u2 minus u1 what that exactly is difference of velocity di difference of final velocities divided by difference of initial velocity so if e equal to 1 it is an elastic collision if e equal to 0 perfectly inelastic collision and if e lies between 0 and 1 we called it inelastic collision and why does a coefficient of restitution come into picture because very simply put if there are two balls and uh, ela in elastic co collision there is a perfect transfer of energy but in other types of collision what happens is the objects get deformed supposing you are hitting a ball with your bat your bat there is some speed in on your bat and in your in the ball but there it is not a elastic collision because you can see some deformation happening in the ball and in the bat so moving forward 
uh, we can still apply conservation of linear momentum equation on this using E and when the two bodies of equal mass collide head on with E equal to 1 that is elastic collision their velocities are mutually exchanged fine here we need not write m and and supposing and supposing uh, we make m1 to be very much bigger than m2 then also you can find out the equation by eliminating by neglecting the mass of m2 and reshuffling of the variables so that's all from now we'll come up with some problems related to linear motion uh, linear equation uh, and uh, conservation of linear momentum so keep preparing well guys all the best thank you